really is going to be a special day. And of course, I'm going to start things off on the sweet side by making my peach vanilla jam. I've got two cups of fresh peaches here that I've peeled and diced. I'll start these simmering off. And I need to juice a quarter cup worth of fresh lemon juice. But before I do that, I need some lemon zest for my pound cake. So I'm going to zest the lemon first. It's easier to zest a lemon before you cut it in half. Peaches have such a delicate flavor to them. They're not punchy and big like a raspberry, strawberry. So when you're making the jam, they really need that bit of acidity to heighten their flavor. Mm. Immediately, that smells fantastic. So I'm going to add a full vanilla bean to this recipe. And just with a paring knife, slice it open with the back of my paring knife, pull them all out. But there's still a fair bit in the bean itself, and the bean itself has a great flavor. So I'm going to put that in as well as the seeds and give that a stir. Mm. And immediately I can smell the difference. Now it's time to add the sugar. Three cups of sugar. It sounds like a lot, but it's an important measurement to follow too to get the right set in your peach jam. And this jam only takes about 15 minutes to simmer. And it's so easy to make freezer jam. You don't have to go through the whole process of sterilizing jars when making a freezer jam. That's what's great about this recipe. You can have a homemade jam really done in 15 minutes. And that gives me the time to get my pound cake going. I've got my one pound of room temperature butter. So first I'm gonna cream this a little bit. And add two cups of sugar. Remember, it's two pound cakes. And now a little bit of vanilla extract. At the very least a teaspoon. When it comes to adding vanilla to cakes, I tend to just free pour it. And I will add that lemon zest. That mix in. And now that my butter and sugar is nice and fluffy, I can add the eggs. Nine of them. That's a lot of eggs. I'll break my eggs into the bowl. quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Half a teaspoon of salt. A little nutmeg. It's just that little accent. That's something familiar. And the last ingredient, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. So this is the point where you want to be careful not to overmix. And on very slow speed, you incorporate the flour. right there. Finish the rest by hand. So get right to the bottom. And I've got two greased loaf pans. I grease them using butter, but I have to be patient because it does take about an hour to bake. All right, into the 325 oven. Look at the thousands of vanilla bean seeds there. Now, I don't want to freeze my vanilla bean pod, so I'm going to pull that out and take this off the heat. And the last thing to add is that bit of pectin. And you add this all at once. And it's the pectin that works in cooperation with the sugar and the lemon juice to really make it set. I love how this jam comes out so clear looking, but it's got that full peach flavor. All I have to do 
is wait for this jam to cool down to room temperature. Then I can put on the lids, pop them in the freezer, and we're done.